All right, I'm making today's video because there is a ton of confusion and misinformation out there on the Silver Sky and how it has evolved and changed over the years. And if at this point you're sitting there asking yourself, wait, the Silver Sky has changed? Then this video is certainly for you. Let's get into it. I also have to give a massive shout out to my good friend Tommy. His socials are all going to be linked down below. If you're a John Mayer fan, you're going to want to check it out. Might be a Two Rock John Mayer signature in there somewhere, I'm just saying. He helped me, especially when it comes to the pickups, to just collaborate and make sure that all this information I'm presenting to you guys is as correct and up to date with what we are aware of as possible. So Tommy, thanks so much for helping me out with this video. You guys go check out his stuff linked below. So in the John Mayer Gear Lounge on Facebook, which I am a part of, the PRS Silver Sky Owners Club on Facebook, and a few other PRS threads and stuff like that, a question I see all the time is, can someone please explain to me when these changes occurred on the Silver Sky? If I'm buying a 2020 Silver Sky, what specs exactly am I getting? What differences are there on this guitar versus, let's say, a 2022 model? So in order to explain this and show you guys as clearly as possible, you guys are now gonna see a table on your screen, and I'm gonna go over from 2018 to 2020, the main spec changes between the Silver Sky over the years. All right, so we're starting off in 2018. Obviously, the Silver Sky was born and released as a production guitar in 2018. The pickups were called 635JM, as well as the neck shape was also designated 635JM. Now, PRS never explicitly said what the frets were exactly, but they said they were close to 6230s, and the finish, of course, is poly. Now lastly, this table here you're seeing has four categories because these are the four areas where changes have occurred and evolved on the Silver Sky. The pickups, the neck shape, the frets, as well as the finish type. Now of course PRS, they haven't been obviously as kind of clear to all these different finishes and timelines, but they have stated that the Silver Sky is a guitar that is constantly going to be evolving as John and Paul tweak with it and change it up so it's to be expected that guitar won't stay the same throughout its life cycle which they have said they have like a three to four year outgoing look on what it's going to look like so they're thinking years ahead of what we even get now in 2019 there was only one change and this has to do with the finish we do know that prs started using a nitro finish in late 2019 now what does late 2019 mean i've seen a lot of conflicting information i've seen what at least appears to be even conflicting information from PRS if people ask their customer service and stuff like that. Could mean November, December. I've even seen some threads online at least of people who say they have sent in their serial number of a Silver Sky that was given to them earlier than November of 2019 and they asked what finish they had and then it's come back as Nitro. So as it kind of stands right now, the only definitive way to know what finish you have on your Silver Sky, if you're unsure, is to email customer service with your serial number and find out. Everything 2020 forward is going to be Nitro, but there does seem to be a gray area of exactly when this change occurred. If some were still being made Nitro Poly, I have no idea. This part is kind of confusing, but this is honestly the best information that we know. So if you really wanna know, email customer support with your serial number and ask them point blank. Now we move on to 2020, and the big change here occurred with the release of the Maple Board Silver Skies. And with the Maple Board Silver Skies, a new neck shape was chosen for the Rosewood necks. The Maple Boards kept the neck shape name of 635JM. The original neck shape is the same on the Maples. But the Rosewoods now are called 635JMR, and essentially it's a tweaked neck shape. Personally, I find it a lot more comfortable, a little bit more rounded in the shoulders, I do genuinely prefer the new 635JMR neck over the 635JM, but that is just me. The last thing we have to discuss in terms of the year 2020 with the Silver Sky is the fact that the pickups appear to have been slightly tweaked. Now this is something that's not heavily discussed and talked about, but I've seen consistent measurements of 2020 Silver Sky pickups that are lower output compared to the 2019 and 2018 year runs. But this change with the pickups is nowhere near as big as the change that happened in 2021 with the pickups. And in 2021, as I just mentioned, we did see some big changes, namely being the pickups. These pickups, even though they are still called 635JMs, they honestly, when you get down to it, aren't really the same pickup at all. These are much lower output 
really think 64 Strat in the earlier pickups of the Silver Skies now to something more akin to like a black one sounding pickup. Again, personally, I really prefer the new pickups on the Silver Skies from 2021. These ones I find especially on the bridge pickup, I don't have to roll my tone knob down as much. It just has less harshness, less of that ice pick on that bridge pickup. So I find I don't really have to roll down my tone knob all that much compared to the old Silver Sky I used to own. Now in 2021, they also did change the frets. Now PRS says they're more like 6105s. And now this brings us on to 2022, and we have seen no change from 2021 to 2022 with the Silver Sky. The big change and main focus for John and Paul this year clearly has been the SE Silver Sky. So maybe in 2023, we'll see some spec changes or a bit of an update, maybe even just some new finishes. Who knows, but for right now, the specs have not changed, and 2022 and 2021 is the most up-to-date Silver Sky spec you can get. And if at this point you're sitting here wondering, great. Now, essentially the Silver Skies from every single year are slightly different. And it ultimately comes down to finding the specs and the sound that you want out of a guitar that's right for you and what you enjoy the most. To some people, the changes might not make that big of a difference. And genuinely, I think any Silver Sky is gonna be an absolutely incredible instrument. You can't go wrong with any year. But personally, like I've said, I genuinely do prefer the 2021 Silver Sky spec, the brand new, most up-to-date spec. I've owned a 2020 Nebula. I've played countless 2018 and 2019 Silver Skies. The 2021 takes the cake personally for me. It's up to you to find and figure out which one is going to be right for you. I'm just trying to help give you the tools to make an informed and proper decision. Now, before we close out today's video, I wanna to touch on the pickups one last time, specifically with some more details in terms of their output with some readings. Now, my friend Tommy, as well as my friend Jack from Genesis Pickups helped provide this information for today's video. Jack's information with Genesis is also gonna be linked down below for you guys, so go give him a check out as well. Essentially here for 2018 and 2019, the pickup readings were in the mid to low 6,000s, 2020 the readouts were in the high 5,000s to the low 6s, and then for 2021 and 2022 to about the mid 5,000s. And these have all seemed to be fairly consistent with readouts. Obviously there are some variables that occur when you're measuring pickups, but for the most part these all seem to be extremely consistent and fairly accurate. This is just some extra information I wanted to throw out you guys for today's video. And there you guys go. Thank you all so much for your support. I genuinely hope that this helped you guys maybe make a decision of which Silver Sky you want to go after or just cleared up some misinformation out there because that's kind of all my channel's about. Entertaining you guys, having fun discussions, and clearing up misinformation and trying to provide the correct information. So thanks again for all the support. We'll see you on the next one. Anyway, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you like what you see.